Hello and welcome to Computer Cut Pro. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to use the path edit feature in Computer Cut Pro to edit patterns to fit exactly the way in which you would like them to fit. And then save them as your version of the pattern so that every time you pull up the pattern it will be the pattern that you adjusted. So we'll select this front window to the Kia Seltos and hit the cut button which will take it into the cut window. And we'll select it in here and just kind of move it up out of the way so that we can work with it. And over here on the left you'll see the path edit icon right here. And you can either select it by clicking on it here or just double click on the pattern to select the pattern. If you are using the larger tool icons here, go to toolbars and then icon size and go to the large. Okay, this would be the path edit down here on the left. But in this case, we're using the toolbars from the old computer cut. And so we'll go back to that, which would be the medium size here. So we'll double click on it and it turns it into the path edit feature. And one of the most common changes many people make to the pattern is the adjustment on the bottom of the window. We have to create generic patterns to fit everybody's different way of how they like the patterns to fit. And there's some people that don't like to put the, the bottom of the pattern down below the weather stripping. Some people like it to be a half inch. Some people like it to be longer and some people uh, actually remove door panels so they really don't care how how long it is but it's probably the most common change that many people make so we'll go ahead and show you how to do it in the new computer cut pro zoom in to the bottom of the window here by clicking on a magnifying glass and it'll zoom us in here and then we'll go ahead and highlight the points that we want to move. Now you can click and drag a box around them, but if you can't fit these points in the box, if you just simply hold the shift key down and then select the points, it will add those points to your selection. So we have all of the point nodes and points selected on the bottom of this window. So let's say the pattern is just maybe a quarter inch too long on the bottom. So we want to reduce it by a quarter of an inch. So we will zoom into this corner down here. And then over here, you can see the ruler. Wherever I put my mouse, the point shows up on the ruler here. Well, we want to move it up a quarter of an inch. So to do that, we have to zero out the point in which we are going to work from. So to do that, just go up into the corner here and click on this corner and pull it down to the point in which you're going to move right here. And as you can see over here, it zeroes it out. Here's your zero point right here. So we're going to move it up to 0.25, which is a quarter inch. So I'll go and put my mouse on here, click and hold it down, and then move it up. And then over on the left, you can see it move up to a quarter inch, which is right there. The green is the old pattern, and the Red is the new one, so we'll move this back over here and move it up a quarter inch. And there we've moved it a quarter inch. So we want to check the other side to make sure that it also lines up. So we'll zoom out a little bit here. And 
And if you hit the F8 button, it'll zoom out to it here. And then we'll zoom down here to this side here. And it looks like it uh, adjusted it exactly the same. If this got distorted out here, then you would just click and select these points and just move this part over here. But it looks like it lined up pretty well there. So now that we've made the change, now we will want to make a copy of this. So let's zoom out, hit F8, and it'll zoom it out. And we'll move this down over here. And then we will make a copy of it. And move it up. And then flip it vertically. And as you can see, it still hold the red. You can change this if you want. Uh, this is something that you couldn't do in the older computer cut program. But if you wanted to change this to the black, you can go up here and go to View and Palette, Show Manufacturer Palette. And it pulls up the manufacturer colors over here. And then to change it to black, you first have to change, there's actually an outline here, so you click and you right click on this. See how it made the outline black? And then go ahead and click on the left click on it, and it makes this pattern black. So it will show up as black when, you, when you've when you saved the pattern. Okay, so now we've got these adjusted how we want. So we'll go up here and we minimize the window and then go ahead and select the other patterns that we might bring in here all the time. Um, you might, uh, you know, when you, you have a choice as to whether you're, when you pull up a pattern, whether you want your saved pattern or the original pattern. So you don't necessarily have to pull these other pieces in here. Um, because you do have a choice of selecting them if you wanted to make a, uh, a sunstrip. So we'll go ahead and hit cut. And it pulls it into the cut window. And we will zoom out again. And let's click and drag a box around these and select them. And move them over here like this. Okay, so now we'll go up here and we want to save it as our version. So we go to File, Save as My Version. You are about to save my version of this pattern. Proceed, click Yes. And we'll close this out. And then we'll go back in here and go to File, Reconnect. And go back to the auto window tinting and the recent up here Kia Seltos and it asks us there's a private version of this pattern on your database do you want to load it so we'll click yes and the pattern loads exactly how you had made the changes so now that we've shown you how you can edit and, and save your version of the pattern, let's go and look at the other functions within the path edit. So we'll select this front window again, pulls up into the cut window, and we'll double click it. And it pulls in the path edit feature. And then up here are all the functions within the path edit. So here we can add a node or a point, click on that and then click down here and it adds a point. Or we can click on here and delete a node or a point and it deletes the point. Here we have the rotate feature. If you click on that, it puts these green points here. So if you just grab here and rotate it, 
it rotates it around on its center axis or if you want to rotate it on another axis let's say you want to rotate it on this point here click there and it rotates on that axis there if you want to resize it you can click on scale and by pulling on the corners here it'll resize the pattern proportionally and it shows the sizes up over here or if you click on here it resizes it non-proportionally but will distort the, the pattern itself so you're probably not going to do that with a side window but maybe with some other type of window here we have the node edit I probably the easiest way to just change a node is to just click on it and and select it and that will will change the node just click on it and you can move it so you probably won't use these functions that that often the add and the delete node you'll probably use a little bit but these are the main functions that you'll use in the path edit first one here is a segment line it draws a straight line between two points so if I click on here and then I click over here it draws a straight line between those two points just undo that right here segment corner let's say I wanted to make this a 90 degree corner here so I'll click here and I'll click and I'll click here and then here and click outside the pattern you can see here's a 90 degree corner and there's the 90 degree corner underneath it right here is a segment round corner so if I click on that and again click here and then click here I can round this corner and I can change the radius of the corner by moving this in and out so we'll move it to there and there's the rounded corner so we'll zoom out a little bit and then this right here is a segment smooth arc basically this just follows the uh, segment the points of the segment you probably won't use that very much the one that you probably will use the most is the segment three-point arc where you click and you click a point here and then click another point and it throws this middle point here and then you can pull this out and move it back to get a smooth arc or, or a straight line if you want and probably the most useful tool that you'll use is a segment two-point handle right here so we'll click on there and let's zoom into this top area right here and let's say this area right here is just a little bit too low or uh, too high you can use the three-point arc and adjust this up and down or you can use this the two-point arc with handles where you click here and then click here and it throws two points in here hold on let's just move this over here and you have much more flexibility using this than you do the two point so let's see we can go here 
use it again click here and click here and again you can see how we can change this curve right here so it's a great little tool to adjust the patterns to fit how you would like them to fit and these last three functions the cleaver the cut and the closed loop you probably won't use them too much in the uh, window tint part but um, we're going to move on over to the paint protection because that's the these are the three functions that you'll probably use more under the paint protection so one of the areas where you will use the path edit quite a bit would be under the paint protection so we brought in this bumper to a vehicle and we'll double click it and we go into the path edit feature and these are the tools that you'll use quite often in the path edit feature so let's say we have a odd size roll uh, let's say we got 20 inch roll so we want to cut this bumper down to fit on a 20 inch roll so we want to be able to determine where 20 inches is going to be here so click and drag this down here to the zero zero point which is right there and then down here is 20 inches so we want to be able to determine where 20 inches is across here so to do that if you right click on it it throws a guideline on here okay so in order to move this guide we need to go out of the path edit feature and then come down here and grab this and move this guide up to the 20 inch mark so there is 20 inches right there so now we'll double click it and we're in the path edit and we go to the cleaver and click on the guideline right here and then grab this piece and go across there like that and that cuts that in, in two pieces and then go over here and start it again click here and drag it and so now this pattern is cut into pieces so if we click outside of it, click on here, and then select this piece, you'll see it's a separate piece. And then finally, the two final functions, the cut and the closed loop. To demonstrate that, I'll just click here. And what this does is it selects a point and you it cuts that piece right there so we'll click here and cut another piece boom like that and then we'll go back to here and then we'll click on here and there's the piece that's been cut out and we'll hit delete and it deletes it so now we got that open segment there so if we want to close it we'll double click on it and then we click here and close loop and it closes the loop. So this is how you would use the path edit feature in the Computer Cut Pro program. It's a great way for you to adjust and fit the patterns the way in which you would like them to fit and then save them so that every time you pull up that particular vehicle it fits exactly how you want to.